some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere in California where a frauditor claims to have been criminally trespassed and arrested over his tripod. But of course the video camera that would prove his point has been taken in as evidence, so we really have no way of verifying this, uh, neither does he. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the mental gymnastics he's going to put us through. Speaking of mental gymnastics, I found something on his channel that's going to drive a lot of you crazy, so I'll be showing you this later on in the video. Alright, so today is the day after my arrest. Um, I was arrested in the city of Rancho Cucamonga. Um, so I'm at the Rancho Cucamonga police station. Um, so the reason I'm here is because uh, where I was booked at the jail, they don't accept uh, backpacks there. So I'm here to pick up my backpack. And also, I'm going to try to speak to a supervisor since I, since I didn't get to speak one at all yesterday. Um, even though they said that I was going to get to speak one, uh, speak to one um, at the station, but I actually didn't get a chance to. So, we'll see how this goes. Hi, um, I'm actually here for, I'm here to pick up my property. So you have an appointment? No appointment. Um, name, oh yeah, uh, my ID. What's your name? Oh, name is William Matias. I actually have a booking number. No, um, and then what's the pro William Matias? Matias, yes. And what's your property that you're picking uh, A backpack and a couple of uh, cameras, some cameras. Uh, and cameras? And cameras, yes. Okay, let me see if the property is already there. Yeah, yeah, I was told it uh, should be ready to go. Yes. So property is closed today, so you need to uh, call this number. Actually, you have to have an appointment first. I need to have an appointment? Call this number and I leave uh, a message, okay? Um, can I speak to a supervisor? Is there an officer here? I want to speak to your manager. Uh, I actually have some uh, concerns uh, about my arrest that I want to speak to him about. Just. Um, do you want to make a complaint or something? Um, no, I just want to speak to a supervisor here if that's okay, if, if there's one's available. What kind of uh, complaint or uh, issue it, do you have? It's about uh, the issue that happened yesterday. I actually I asked to speak to a supervisor, to the officers, and they refused to get me one, and that's why I got arrested. So I, And they told me I was going to get to speak to one, and I never did, so I, uh, okay. I would like um, to speak to a supervisor. Problems, like, I could uh, relate to them. What is that about? Oh, it's about my... my uh, what kind of issue? Uh, uh, what's, what's going on? Well, I was arrested yesterday. For what? And, uh, for trespassing, uh, okay. but but I requested a supervisor because I was in, uh, in a public why, sidewalk. Why do you want to talk to a supervisor? Then you have to tell me because I have to tell them. Oh, uh, well, I just want to speak to him um, yeah, in I regards to... to why. I mean, I just want to speak to him based on regards to the case, to, to my arrest, basically, because I never got to speak to a supervisor. Tell me why you want to talk to them because I need... We were directed to yeah. know the reason before we, you could talk to somebody. Yeah, that's the reason about my arrest. So what's in your arrest that you want the, your supervisor, that you want to talk to the supervisor? What so I actually want to... Wanna, so Can first, you stop uh, filming? Okay. Can you stop doing that? Well, actually, I'm, I'm documenting uh, my, okay. you know, my, my uh, visit here for, for, the, you know, for, for, for my protection as well. So I do want to just, you know, is there a supervisor here? I'm, I'm requesting a supervisor. As a public, as a as a member of the public, I'm requesting a supervisor to, as I can speak to. Thank you. Okay, have a seat, and he's coming up. Okay, thank you. Hey, yes, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm William. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So I'm actually here because I was actually arrested yesterday for um, trespassing in public. I was in a public sidewalk. So the reason why I was uh, ultimately arrested was because a security guard there, I guess, just didn't want me there. 
and then the officers uh, basically enforced uh, his feelings, basically, that he just didn't want me there, right? Because I even asked him, so he could tell me to leave from here for any reason, and he said yes. So at that point, I was like, well, can I speak to a supervisor? So when I requested a supervisor, they automatically just arrested me. So they didn't even give me a trespass warning. They didn't uh, uh, told me I was being trespassed, so if I didn't leave, I was going to be arrested. They automatically uh, arrested me when I requested a supervisor. And they said they were going to get me one at the station, and they never did. So that's why I'm here. I wanted to speak to you. Your story sounds a bit odd and one-sided. Rather convenient that you aren't able to show any footage to back up what you're saying. Another thing is I never got a court date or a ticket for, for my arrest because I was sent to county jail and everything. I was booked and I never got a ticket. Uh, I don't know. I didn't get the number to the courthouse or the address. Um, so I'm also, I'm also here for that as well. Okay, so you, didn't, you never signed a citation? I did. Did, I did. Yes, they didn't give it to me, though. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, I didn't receive a copy of it. And uh, again, it was an unlawful arrest because, um, again, I was in a public sidewalk and there was no valid, I, I wasn't breaking any laws. Basically, so in a little, little bit of context, so yeah. we uh, we have a lot of calls for service throughout the day. Right. Can you explain to me like where you were? Yeah, so I was actually was involved. Yeah, yeah. So it was just yeah. me involved, okay. and uh, actually the issue uh, they actually confiscated both my cameras because I had two cameras recording, okay. and that's another reason now I'm here because I'm trying to get you know goes back. So the security didn't have an issue with me recording or even there for the purposes I was there. I was there. I was just. Where? It was at, yeah, it was at Victoria Gardens. You were at Victoria Gardens? Victoria Gardens, okay. yeah. So I was recording there, and then, um, again, I wasn't breaking any laws. I wasn't, you know, soliciting or, or loitering, right, because I had a purpose there. Um, but um, I guess I was just having conversations with people, you know. I'd go out, you know, and talk to people as well. Um, and uh, I guess he didn't like that I was recording. Uh, the main issue was my tripod at the end of the day. He said that it was obstructing the sidewalk. And, and in the videos, you could clearly see that it's not. Yeah, in the video, you can clearly see it's not. But wait a minute. Hold on. He says later that the videos have been taken in for evidence. So how do you know that the tripod is not the issue if you have not seen the video itself when it's already been taken in as evidence? Huh. It's almost as if, I don't know, you're lying? You know, so that's one of the, another main reason why I want to get those videos back, uh, because that was the initial reason why the security guard didn't want me there was because I was supposedly blocking the sidewalk, which I wasn't. So again, the police officers didn't even uh, investigate; they just said the security guard doesn't want you here, so you got to leave. And I was like, "Can I speak to a supervisor?" And that's when they arrested me. So, so I just. Uh, and, and, and where exactly were you? I was uh, right next to the Apple Store. I don't know if you're familiar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I actually been there before, like twice. This was my third time there. Mm -hmm. And uh, to be honest, I didn't have the tripod the first two times. So, again, I'm, I was, literally, I'm assuming it was because of the tripod that was supposedly blocking the sidewalk. So I was arrested. My liberty was taken from me. I was sent to jail for three hours. Why? Because of my tripod on a sidewalk that wasn't even blocking, you know? So Have you ever been through that process? No, before? first time ever being arrested, ever. Okay. And you know? what, uh, what deputies did you have contact with? That's the thing. I do. It's all on video. I did get their batch numbers, and I, I'm assuming the arresting officer is going to be on the ticket. And I also, um, I don't know if you guys have the complaint or the reason why the security wanted me to leave, because he has to have a reason why he wants me to leave. So I don't know if you guys have a copy of that. I would like to get a copy of that right, as well. So, and I'll have to do my own. A statement. No, no, yeah, definitely, definitely. I'm just here, you know, documenting my side of the story, you know. But the cameras are going to speak for themselves. That's, you know... The video on the cameras, so you know, it's going to speak for themselves. So I, I do see here that you guys uh, have property closed on Mondays, right? So I won't be able to get my property today, right? Because I also have my, you guys have my backpack here. Uh, I can try to see if I get your property back. Oh, if you could. So I'll go talk to these people. Uh, oh, I appreciate that, man. Yeah, but I'm not, no problems. So I don't know if I can. But like, oh, okay. No, I mean, I mean, just you know, I appreciate yeah, you trying. <laughs> I mean, I'll be back here tomorrow anyway. I'll, I'll probably call today to make an appointment. Apparently, you need an appointment to, to retrieve property, right? Yeah, and I'll talk to them. Yeah, and then um, if I could get a copy of the of the ticket or the court date, you know, that would be great. I don't know if you guys have... I could try to work that out for you. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, what, uh, what's your name, brother? Yeah, my name's William. Yeah, and here's the thing, I... Yeah, yeah. I, I was literally about to leave, too. The only reason why I stood was because I wanted to prove a point to the security officer, because security's job is to observe and report. Out of all the common things that I hear frauditors saying that I get tired of hearing is that it is a, only a security guard's job to observe and report. 
All you have to do is visit career websites or career fairs and you will find out otherwise. The security has no authority or, you know, to kick anybody out, you know, they're not law enforcement. It, in there, I would, uh, in some aspects, I don't know exactly what happened. Yeah. However, when you, when you are on private property, if there is a certain behavior, I'm not saying that's what... No, no, exactly. I, I understand. They can press charges for trespassing. Yeah. They can. Yeah. So, and, and I think that I would disagree on that aspect, but I don't know exactly what happened. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. That's where the context of the reason why he wanted me to leave is important. Because, again, he can't just discriminate against anyone, you know, just point, oh, I don't like your color of a shirt, so I want you out. You know, there needs to be a reason why he, why, you know. What, what, are the dep what was the conversation like with the deputies? With the deputies, the, the deputies just didn't want to hear it from me. They were just going to enforce what the, what the uh, security wanted. But, you know, you guys are law enforcement. You guys are supposed to enforce law, not policies, right? Because um, their policy apparently was, again, he said that, uh, that they couldn't be obstructing the sidewalk. But, again, I wasn't obstructing the sidewalk. The, you know, the video will definitely show that. And, uh, and another thing about there, there's no uh, no trespassing signs there anywhere. There's no no recording signs there anywhere, you know, because it's, it's a public space, you know. You just made a huge mistake, Frauditor. You shouldn't have showed this sign because at one point on there, it says no loitering, which this completely changes the context of your story. If you were hanging around outside that business for an extended period of time without buying anything, then you were loitering. Therefore, it had nothing to do with videoing. It had nothing to do with your tripod. It had everything to do with you being a loiterer. Not exactly the worst you can do, but it sure as hell proves you to be just an, another lying frauditor. Was the issue of you recording? It, I think it was the tripod. It wasn't even the recording, which is another reason why I want to get my videos back because they took them as evidence. That's what they told me. But if the video wasn't the issue, especially my chest cam, he clearly said that my chest cam for sure it's, it's okay because I had a chest cam. Um, and basically, you know, that that's the reason why, you know, the tripod was the issue. That's... For, for the security, right? And then, again, the officers just basically did what the security said without, you know, investigating or looking at, or that's why I actually wanted, you know, request a supervisor so that we can maybe de-escalate. And if the supervisor would have told me, you're going to be arrested if you don't leave, or if they would have told me, you're going to be arrested if you don't leave, I would have left. Okay. Again, they didn't give me a, a warning. They didn't, nothing. The second I asked for a supervisor, and it's on video, they automatically just arrested me, put me in handcuffs in front of everybody to top it off. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty humiliating. Well, I don't know about you, but I've had enough of this lying frauditor, so I'm going to do two things here. I am going to go ahead and show you what I found on his channel, and then I am going to skip to the end of the video. Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! If you thought that being a frauditor was bad enough, I mean, at least frauditors have some sense of logic to them. But... This goes far beyond stupid. This guy is a flat earther. There is just honestly no excuse for that kind of stupidity in this day and age. My channel is not set up to debunk flat earthers. I will just leave that up to the professionals like Simon Dan to deal with that. All right, back to the main video. Oh, cool. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll call you back. So you'll get that back at a later date. Okay. Okay, there's that. And yeah, here's your backpack. 
just leaving the station now. I got my backpack back. Um, they definitely did go through it. Uh, it was a mess. I had to rearrange everything in there. Uh, the funny thing about the whole thing is that the tripod was the main issue. And that's one thing that I got back, <laughs> my tripod. Um, they did keep my cameras for evidence. Uh, so I'm going to have to go through an attorney to get those back. Uh, ASAP and yeah uh yeah the tripod was the issue that's why they kept the cameras and that's why you've been lying this whole time as well so I'm going to give you the special ending for not only being a no good auditor but a damn idiotic flat earther too you are so I'm not lame! Yes! Yes, you are! Please, Mom, please don't do that! Don't be mean to me! I'm not being mean to you! You're just too lame to see it! You don't know what I can do, what I'm gonna do, you don't know! You don't know what I'm gonna be! You don't know how good I, I have good things and you don't know it, and I'm gonna be somebody, and don't tell me I'm not! <laughs>